सो दे शुड नो कि पाव क्या होता है किलो क्या होता है अदरवाइज कभी कभी बहुत एम्बेसमेंट हो जाती है बच्चों को क्योंकि हम इंग्लिश के पीछे इतना भागते हैं कि हम हिंदी को बिल्कुल ही भूल जाते हैं everyone i have taught maths to many students and from my own experience i can say that most of the student face difficulty in math when they reach higher grades i have also observed that they don't find it difficult to understand the concept in fact they are weak in understanding the basic calculations addition multiplication division hcf lcm and the reason for this is that the strong base has not been set for them in early ages so in today's video i am going to tell you some tips so that you can teach your child maths in fun and easy way also if you are a working parent if you don't have time to teach math to your child i am going to talk about one online platform where they can learn math in easy and interesting way so be with me my name is trilekha i make videos on english grammar personality development parenting work from home ideas and lot more and you are watching my channel lot to learn first of all start at early age take my words if you start at early age life for you and your child would be easier in future before i start talking about my tips for those parents who are working and for those who are not able to teach maths to their child at home you can go for q math maths classes q math is a math program for children between ages 5 to 16 QMath focuses on building strong foundation for math and making math interesting for children. So basically, they teach math using puzzles, creative reasonings and worksheets. There are one to one classes, so there are there is one teacher for one student. The classes are on video call and fee would depend on the grades. So fee would vary as per grades. Now if you want to know more about it, you can uh, take a free demo class and the link for which is given in the description. So book a free trial and do share your experience with me. Now time for my tips. Go beyond pen and paper to make math fun way learning experience for your child. When your child is small for smaller kids to teach them forward and backward counting the best game is snake and ladder. You can also use that dot to dot picture puzzle which we use to connect the numbers in sequence from 1 to 100 to form a picture. Also if you want to teach them backward counting you can use the same picture in a different way so tell your child to start from 100 and then go to 1 so this way you will be able to teach them backward counting too when your child reaches to grade 2 or 3 this is the right time to introduce sudoku to them start with the easier ones have some sudokus printed you can get many math puzzles and riddles and these things online i'm going to leave a link for all these things in the description so you can start with the easier ones and sit with them let them fill this along with you you have to help them initially and later on once they develop interest they will be able to do it on your on their own say you want to teach them division now give them 10 candies and tell them to divide those 10 candies in five dolls let them think let them uh, do some brainstorming now once they do it again ask them to divide the same candy same 10 candies amongst 10 dolls and now observe how do they do it so this is how they can uh, this is how you can teach them basic concepts before moving to next step do subscribe to my channel if you are new here and do not forget to press the bell icon if you do not press the bell icon properly you're not going to get my new videos to watch more videos related to parenting you can click here you can also follow me on the instagram let them participate in grocery and vegetable shopping if you involve them in day to day activity they would learn math easily and quickly have them compare kilograms and grams when you go for vegetable shopping in grocery store you can tell them to pick half kg uh, wafers pack and 1 kg wafers pack to compare between uh, 
to compare and to understand what is half kg and one kg also if you all are indians please make sure they understand the same things in hindi also so they should know ki pao kya hota hai kilo kya hota hai otherwise kabhi kabhi bahut embarrassment ho jati hai bachcho ko kyunki hum english ke piche itna bhagte hain ki hum hindi ko bilkul hi bhul jate hain say you want to teach them the concept of addition so you can use their animal toys and arrange a meeting in the jungle initially keep three animals and then keep on adding one animal and then keep on asking them how many animals are there now how many animals are there now so this is how you can teach addition to small children you have to set a particular time in a day keeping in mind that this is the time i am going to teach them math in a fun way anyways kids play a lot of games on smartphones so why not to have them play those maths riddles and puzzles on smartphones my daughter who is 9 she uses a app which is brain out where she plays a lot of math riddles and puzzles and i too enjoy it sometimes even i find it difficult to solve so i am going to leave a link for everything whatever i have talked uh, whatever i have spoken about in this video today also don't forget to share your experience with qmath if you take demo class thank you so much for watching me that's it for today